she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop ke pa sa sa pa se what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz first thing that is popping in the news life is a thing that is filled with ups and downs one day you're up, the next day you could be down. If you have the faith and have the skill sets, it is easier to bounce back. Sometimes you buck up on some sorts of obstacle and it seems as if there is never no turning back. It looks very sticky. Sometimes life deals you a very bad card. Not everybody gets the same opportunity. Not everybody gets to bounce back. If and when you do, you should count your blessings. Because some people, when they buck up on hard time, it only gets from bad to wasara. Such is the case as it pertains to legendary dancehall artists. An artist that was in his prime. When he got into some sorts of accidents. He was riding his bike. He was touring extensively. His name is Tiger. However, he got hit down off his bike. When he got hit down off his bike. One of them big time Kawasaki them call it. He was hit down by somebody that I heard work for the US Embassy. They gave him some money, maybe about a million dollar Jamaican or so. Don't really know the specifics. Whatever amount of money he got, it was not sufficient. He lost his performance. He lost his speech. His speech sounded slurred at best. Pretty much he couldn't deliver. Pretty much he could not speak. He had to do all sorts of speech therapy. However, he would never be the same. A lot of promoters, because of sympathy, put him on some sorts of show. So at the start, he was getting show. He was making a little money. But he was not the same. Would never be the same. I guess things even got worse. And it is said that this artist is now modding out. Now people, you know when it comes to Jamaica, people call mad people, homeless people. It is not really specific. You don't know who mad or who is just homeless or who just buck up on hard time. Whatever the case is, it is obvious that Tiger, there would be no sorts of comeback. Life just would not be the same as it pertains to him so people i am going to show you a couple of videos one video when he was on the streets and some people was asking him to dj and then a next video when somebody i guess had him and they were looking for his family looking for assistance for him i am going to show you the video with him performing on the street i guess for free and then I am going to let you see the next video. Take a listen, take a look at the first video with him performing and then I'll give my piece. People who that? Tiger that, you know? The man who remember DJ Tiger, man, he now he is a mash of the place. The artist a mad out star. This man wake up and see him right in front of me, he yet star. Now people, like I said, this is very sad, this is very tragic. You could look at the artist and see that he had some sorts of physical. The foot no look the same. The hand no look the same. And obviously, don't know what you heard. But the speech is definitely not the same. So therefore, he is not the same artist. He did not or does not have that same earning potential. Because people like you when you're up. However, when you are down, they will turn their box on you. You pretty much are left on your own. So that was the first video. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look at a second video with him. And then I am going to give my peace. Blessed morning, my peace. 
Yeah man, they are with the general again, you know. Yeah man, I'm pleading to anyone who have any information towards any relatives, towards him pertaining to him. Yeah man, and give me a link up, because I couldn't allow him to leave last night. Yeah, because he's not in a stable condition to move around, you know. As I say, I give him a stick, get him clean up, you know, get him something to eat, take him stay over. Yes, I'm currently still at the location, you know, Greenwich Town, the Kingston 13. So anyone who have any information towards any relative towards Mr. Norman Washington Jackson, yeah man, just link up, alright? Yeah. Sin is here right now, waiting for some relatives to come for him. Now people, you and I know in a Jamaica, sometimes when people homeless are hit hard times, rock bottom, people say they mad out. Don't know the specifics of his degree of mentality, mental status. However, what is obvious that he has physical problems as far as his foot, as far as his hand. And we see that he is walking around with a walker in which somebody gave him. So therefore, he pretty much is out on his own. Somebody, some good Samaritan, found him and took him in. And they are asking for assistance. If anybody wants to help, I am going to try to locate his family. Whoever is taking care of him. My phone number, 1-876-894-2711. If you want to assist the artist financially, you can also call me. The family members, people that are looking out for him, use my number also. However, if you plan for scam, it is a wrong number that you are calling. You will have to verify and validate everything before anything is sent to you so therefore don't even waste your time try if you scam the fbi you have a better luck that way now people here is the history of tiger talking about the shabba ranks talking about the beanie man talking about any top dancehall artist delivery and performance Tiger in a in prime was probably better than any other dancehall artist that I know. When you talk about energy, when you talk about delivery, when you talk about showmanship, when you talk about everything, this artist was as solid as it gets. However, people, you saw exactly what happened to this youth. It is said that an employee that works with the American Embassy licked him off of the bike. When he got licked off the bike, they assisted him. He was given a certain amount of money. However, you know, say money in a Jamaica, it is not sustainable. When you talk about medical bills, when you talk about physical, when you talk about medication, when you talk about all of that, whatever little money that you get, if you're not able to sustain yourself, meaning doing show, pay your bills, and just living as a human being, sooner or later, it is going to run out. It is going to run down. Sooner or later, when people realize that, listen, the sympathy party is over. People now come and show if you go see him, meaning the patron, and the promoter is not going to just put out any sorts of show for any sorts of sympathy tip. It is all about making money. It is all about profit. So therefore, Tiger was not able to sustain himself. Sooner or later, all those friends or people that used to help him are people that he probably used to help everybody poof and disappear. Houdini, M.I.A. Missing in action. So people like me say, if you want to assist, the number is the same, 1-876-894-2711. Whatever money, whatever assistance is given will be forwarded to whoever is taking care of his affairs, meaning Mr. Tiger. 
point blank and period. Further on in the news is an update about a story that I spoke about a couple of days ago as it pertains to some incident that took place at a location known as Knightsdale Drive in that vicinity. It also involved a young man that lost his life. His name is Orin, Orin Emmanuel. He was the person that lost his life fatally. Based on information, it is said that this youth, Orin Emmanuel, owns a clothing store in a Montego Bay, a very popular clothing store. They sell all sorts of high-end stuff, the Gucci, the Versace. He was a big timer whether he was making his money legitimately or not. Some people claim that he was legitimate. Some people claim that he was dibbling and dabbling. Illicit activity mixed with legitimate activity. Meaning that he was laundering the illegal money based on word on the streets. Based on the poor, poor reports of things, it is said that they were tracking down some individuals. It is said that they summons are told that individual in that vehicle to stop the vehicle. However, that person disobeyed the officer. There was some sort of chase with those officers and then that vehicle was intercepted by a set of other officers. During the time when that vehicle was intercepted based on the poor poor reports, a man alighted from the vehicle and start blaze up some car in a direction of the poor poor. Needless to say, the poor poor returned the F I R E and you know the results. The driver, the owner, he was left on the ground out cold, topped out. His passenger, a female, she was also conned up. However, what I want to speak about is the reaction or the response or comments in the comment section. Why is it whenever you have individuals that are out there that are dibbling and dabbling in a criminal activity, that are out and about with wads of cash in the millions profiling on social media, then their name is being called up by the popo because based on the information it is said that this man's name was being called up on a popo that lost his life in a Caymanas garden a couple of weeks ago. He is said to be a person of interest or even one of the suspects. Men don't know how the popo come to that conclusion or come to that decision that his name was being called up. However, they were tracing him, they were tracking him. He did not listen. He drove off. He sped off. There was a chase. The vehicle was intercepted. Based by where the poor poor say, after the S-H-O-O-T out, they found at least one toll, that toll with the fingerprint of Mr. Emmanuel. People, that is according to the poor poor. I was not there. When I read the comment section, I heard some people say, you know, no, say, a bad mind them, bad mind the youth. Because him have top car, him have Porsche, him have Mark X, him have this, him have that, him have clothing store. However, legitimate people do not profile like that of the people them from the streets. When you make your money a certain way, you are usually more reserved and people me can say you cannot be rich and high. However, most of the time it is the people where you call come see, come saw, dog have money in buy cheese. It is usually the people who are reckless on social media that are also reckless in a real life, that are also reckless with their life. Now people disclaimer once again this youth could be legitimate. However, this youth name was being called up. Not only in illegal activity, they were saying, meaning the popo, that this youth involved in all sorts of illegal activity. That's what they must say. 
always three to four sides to every story. Me no know nothing about him other than where me hear, other than where that is on the streets. So therefore when people are say a bad mind them, bad mind him, and the youth no do nothing wrong. You know that that is not the truth. Everybody don't just get up and bad mind people. Whenever you live a certain lifestyle, you have a certain certain type of energy that comes with it. So therefore, if you decide or choose to live a certain way, you should expect the repercussion that come with that lifestyle. It is a risky lifestyle. So therefore, the risk them come with the reward. However, the downfall is also just as great. The prison and the cemetery is just as great. So therefore, hope for the best and expect the worst. Whenever you choose the game, you cannot change the rules in the middle of the game. Those rules of engagement have been there before you. It is a matter if you can deal with it or you can deal with it. Get in where you fit in. If it's not your thing, follow the straight and narrow path. If you feel like you want to risk your life, just know say, whenever you take certain sorts of risks, you could fall or flip or drop over the edge. And that is exactly what happened to this man. From him name start call up, from there's any sorts of alleged S-H-O-O-T out. Once him engage the poor poor, usually he is going to end up on the S-H-I-T-T-Y end of the stick. And such is the case in this case point blank and period so anyways people thanks once again for checking out my video if you appreciate videos like these please show your appreciation by liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my channel that is how youtube promotes videos like these to like-minded sensible persons like yourself and last but not least please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video Bless up.